Hi there, uh, this is a demo of my graphics coursework. Um, it's written in C++ and OpenGL. Um, despite being graphics coursework, it's not actually supposed to look pretty, it's just supposed to be a demo of a bunch of different techniques. So I'll run through them, I guess. Um, animated vertex right here. Uh, this guy is a loaded in OBJ model and he's spraying particles. Um, all the art for this is taken from somewhere else. I didn't do any of the art. Um, so this is a Hell Knight from Doom. Um, no, yeah, another one over there. And textures are from Doom and um, skyboxes from Quake. I mean, I, I placed all the shapes and stuff, but all the textures are from other places. Yeah, so I've got another Hell Knight here. Um, and this is an example of volumetric lighting. Uh, so, yeah, and it uses Carmax Reverse, so you can fly in and outside of the shadow volume without it going weird and sort of breaking down. Over here we have a planar shadow, so yeah, volumetric shadows, and then this is a planar shadow. Um, with a procedurally generated shape, and you can change the detail level on it with animated texture coordinates. Um, and I've got a bunch of different shapes. So I've got a cylinder here, um, a pipe. So well, that was a pipe, then a cylinder. Uh, this is a cone, uh, a sphere, a torus, and a bilinear surface patch. And if you go into wireframe mode, you can see that a bit better what's going on. Um, anyway, so if I go back to the sphere, so this is your um, your everyday sphere made out of quads. Whereas if we go over here, we have, uh, not sure the technical name for this, but I just call it a cube sphere. Um, it's where you can sort of see the, the cube shape when you're in the middle of it. Basically you generate a cube um, and then you normalize all the vertices. So the corners get sucked in and the middle gets inflated um, until you have, and yeah, by normalizing it, that sets the distance um, of all of them to the center to one and then you can scale it depending on the size of the sphere that you want um, and yeah and that gives you a perfect sphere um, but it allows you to texture it as if it's a cube which is pretty helpful makes texturing a bit easier um, so yeah down below um, there is a what's it called the Stencil shadows. I think that's what it's called. Stencil shadows. Basically, you um, draw an area in the stencil buffer, and then the reflected objects are rendered twice, but the reflection is only visible through the stencil buffer. Um, so it gives you a reflection type effect, which uh, looks pretty decent, um, simple and effective. Yeah, um, got some colored lights, and they flicker and stuff. Uh, and uh, I think that's about it. Oh, so yeah, these are OBJ models. I if I didn't mention that already. Um, yeah. Oh, and one last thing. Boom. Um, so there's there's a button inside here, uh, which when you um, give it an input, it will do a ray trace against the camera direction. Um, to see if the camera is looking at it. And if it is, it activates, and I've got it connected to the skybox, and it um, gives the place a orangey sun colour instead of the um, more whitish sun before. And it makes the sky kind of sparkly and slimy. Anyway, um, that should be everything. Alright, have a nice day.